Saturday, May 21st, 318 p.m. New York time. Look at the equity indexes since we completed another week and we're in a holiday week. In a holiday week in the United States, often is bullish bias into that weekend, which we have that. Looking here on a one-year chart, each of these candlesticks represents one week. So this is the S&P 500 cash index, the major United States index that financial institutions, meaning the people that manage other people's money and retail traders to compare their performance with for their stock portfolio versus index. So we're just shy of making a new high for the year. Last week, we had made a new high for the year, the S&P 500 this year. This week, just shy of missing that new high for the year. NASDAQ 100 made a new high for the year. Strong like bull. Huge move. Let's update this now. Yep, new high for the year. But online. So, outstanding. The Dow Jones Industrial Average. Nope. Made a lower low, lower high than last week, but still above the high of the the low of the year. Yep. The Dow Transports sitting here in exhalation still. Dow Utilities, look at that. Very close to the low of the year. And the Russell 2000 actually broke out of this index. It's been here for a long time, many weeks, since March. So right off the bat, leadership the nasdaq 100 i've been sharing this for many many months the technology sector is strongest that's where you should be investing you could be doing dollar cost average be a diversified portfolio you could be diversified portfolio in here you don't have to necessarily be in these other indexes as many institutions encourage people be widely diversified is not the best thing no is diversified in the smart winning leadership. The other thing is many media outlets, I would say most media outlets, not business ones, as well as include many business ones, only mentioned Friday that the Dow Jones Industrial Average here closed down red, closed red, closed lower. They didn't come out and say to share, be transparent that the NASDAQ 100 made new high for the year. A lot of misleading by choice. But you being here, listen to my content, you're getting straight from the charts. Let's go look at next. Remember the S&P 500 has 11 sectors and you can trade those sectors. They all offer stock ETFs. XLK, new high for the year, outstanding. XLV, Nope, big move down. XLF, look at that, huge consolidations there for the financials. XLY, nope, did close higher than last week, but not a new high yet. XLC, new high for the year, outstanding. Let's adjust that one. If you don't know what these sectors stand for, well, hope you could join my Patreon and explain each one. XLI actually broke below this consolidation. Made a lower high, lower low. XLP, yeah, big sell-off. XLE, right here, that's energy. XLU, oh, broke down, very close to the low of the year. XLRE, also broke below this consolidation, trend down. Very close to the low of the years. XLB, look at that, also close to the low of the year. So again, the sectors, the ones that are heavily weighted in technology, also doing outstanding new highs. Next, we'll look at the Fang Plus stocks, which represent most widely held stocks. Most of them are technology. The almighty Apple, look at that. Last week was a new high for the year. This week, inside candle, very interesting. Wow, massive consolidation here. 
and a closed hollow equivalent to a green one. Very strong. That Microsoft new high for the year, outstanding. Outstanding. Technology. Amazon, new high for the year, outstanding. Outstanding. Also, Meta, the one that owns Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, new high for the year. Outstanding. Google, new high for the year. Got it? The technology. The good technology sector stocks. You could be buying the index or you could be buying the stocks. Tesla, nope. There's the high for the year. There's the low for the year. It's just doing a retracement. It's struggling. NVIDIA, new high for the year. Outstanding. Outstanding. New high for the year. Huge move up. Look at that trading body. Yep, look how slender that is. Almost all solid body. Very bullish. Maybe they will rotate stocks in the Dow Jones Industrial Average and maybe include this one. Maybe they'll take out Intel and put this one in. What do you say? That would goose up the... Dow Jones Duster Average and prove it. Netflix also new high for the year. So we got many stocks making new highs for the years. Indexes, stock ETS, but it wasn't reported. Wasn't shared. Alibaba, new low for the year. Not good. So if you have mutual funds or other indexes, if they're not doing equal or better, such as new high for the year, why are you still in them? Are you making dollar cost average? Yeah. They may never come back to their highs again, or they may do that long, long, long ways after you retire. Yeah. And manage your portfolio, stay in winning investments.